Guess where we're going? Yeah, y'all thought I was playing when I said it's parked in the middle of nowhere. And they also don't have a jet bridge, so you have to carry all of your luggage up the steps, which is really annoying. Be mindful of this line to check in, y'all. It took literally like an hour, so get there early and plan for that. And this is just me being happy because there was nobody sitting in the middle seat, which means extra room for me to stretch out on this flight. Okay, so we're almost here. Um, again, the flight was four hours with no Wi-Fi, no food, anything. Honestly, by this point, I am exhausted. It's like 12.45 in the morning, but they had a jet bridge, y'all. I've never been so grateful for a jet bridge because, yeah. Okay, guys, we just made it through customs, which was a really lengthy line. It took approximately like 45 minutes. Again, I look crazy. It's 2 a.m. We landed at like 12.50. I don't even know. I have to look. But this is where our luggage is. Why the carousel is not moving? Cause that's not pissing me off. Now I'm literally walking around looking for my luggage because y'all couldn't. I ran out of storage, but this is the airport. It's so pretty. So it's our first full day in Bali. Um, last night was just a bit chaotic. So our taxi driver didn't speak English. We didn't have any cash. The ATM wasn't working. Um, we have a massage in 30 minutes and we've been trying to get a Uber. They call it a Grab, but it's basically an Uber for like 20 minutes and we can't find anyone. So I think we're just gonna walk. I'm not sure. I called a, a moto to come pick us up, but I don't know how all three of us <laughs> are gonna fit. I think this is him. This is him. Everybody all right, so we're waiting on the grab. We have 28 minutes until our massage. We want to get food, but clearly we won't have time for that. And we're getting a shit to massage and they basically step on your back with their feet. So this should be interesting. Okay, so we canceled the the moto because by the time it gets here, we would have walked there. So anyway, we're gonna walk. Oh, is this? What do you say? Grab? Yeah. yeah. For who? What? <laughs> <laughs> We ended up being like five minutes late to our massage because the ATM was not working and we had to get cash. So we didn't get to eat until after. Then we decided to just walk around a little bit, you know, see what's popping in Bali or whatever. Um, it did drizzle a little bit, started raining. So we were like, okay, we're just gonna go back to the room, chill out a little bit. So I realized that our hotel offered free breakfast and that's where they messed up at because now I'm going to be up every morning. I might not be up, but I'm going to get up and go get some breakfast and I'm going to come back in the house and lay down. So anyway, after we finally got up, we walked around a bit. We were hungry again and decided to try this vegan place. It was actually pretty good. Um, then we decided we're going to the beach because that's what we came here for. So we caught our grab, we got on our bike and it took us about 10 minutes to get there. It was really crowded and the beach was just not the cleanest. Like there was debris everywhere. I was a bit disappointed because I'm like, um, where are the Bali beaches that I've heard so much about? Because this cannot be it. And it wasn't. So this was Simiac Beach, I think it's pronounced. But anyway, we walked down a bit and it was better, but you can't actually swim in this beach because of the current. Anyway, we stayed there and chilled a bit and went back to the house to get ready for tomorrow. I know y'all remember me mentioning how much I love breakfast and this was the day I didn't get breakfast. <laughs> Our driver picked us up at 4 a.m. We did this tour and it consists of like five to six different locations. And guys, we had to literally leave at 4 a.m. to arrive at 6 a.m. 
Our first stop was Heaven's Gate, and to get there, you do have to pay an additional fee on top of paying a fee to get there. <laughs> and then you get the traditional clothes um, to wear once you get in there. And y'all, this is insane. We got there literally like 20 minutes after they opened, and we were already number 45 in line to take a picture in front of Heaven's Gate. While you wait, you can take pictures in front of this temple. There was a line as well, but what I really, really, really loved is that you can literally rent the symbolic clothes there. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Because I was literally on a shopping spree the day before trying to find a cute outfit. This is me just showing y'all what the outfit was. The Bali traditional outfit, I loved it. And this is Heaven's Gate. This is where people wait hours to take a picture in front of. And guys, we got the most amazing pictures. Check out my Instagram for that. There's so many places to take pictures in front of. Look at them taking a picture on like the, at the roof. We drove about 20 minutes and then we got to our second location and here we are buying food to feed the fish and paying another entry fee. Nothing is included on this tour, no entry fee. So I can do a separate video if you guys wanna know how much everything costed. Um, anyway, this is the location, it was so pretty. And by this point, <laughs> the hunger was starting to kick in, okay? One, two, three, up. Say hello. At this point, I'm hungry and I don't want to take any more pictures. <laughs> As we're walking to leave, we see this girl holding a bag. Y'all couldn't pay me to hold a bag. Hello to the bag. Everything kind of went downhill from here. It was raining so bad that we had to like wait under this tent. And then I slipped and fell <laughs> walking down. At that point, I was just real irritated. But we finally got to the waterfall. My phone got soaking wet. And of course, none of the pictures came out cute because the lens had water all over it. <laughs> Y'all, I am not a tea or coffee drinker, but this was good. This is we have lemongrass tea for skin and slimming body. This is avocado coffee. For what? This is avocado for antioxidant. Avocado. Oh, avocado. Yeah, this is red rice tea, high calcium for strong bones. Ginger tea for salt root and stomach problem. Rosella tea for blood circulation. We got to try each one of these and then they gave us the opportunity to of course purchase some. And I would definitely recommend getting some y'all. But next we went to the Bali Swings. really nervous about doing this i don't like kites and then it was raining so i'm like am i gonna get struck by lightning i don't know but <laughs> it was fun it really wasn't scary um it was raining so bad but we still got some pictures in and then we sat in traffic for like two hours to get back to our hotel we started all of our mornings off pretty much the same by getting a shiatsu massage, which we really learned to love, even though the massage itself is painful because they're literally putting all of their body weight on you and walking across your back. But yeah, they wash your feet off first and this is the room. No, it's a little dark, but this is what it looks like. And then we hired a driver for the day to explore some of the further beaches. And y'all, why? <laughs> why did we go to this beach? And I decided that I was gonna scuba dive. This is me practicing, like learning how to use the breathing machine. And I literally, the first time I went under, I had a panic attack. <laughs> like I was so scared. Yeah. We were probably under the water for all of like 10 to 15 minutes. So this was definitely just like a beginner's scuba diving, which I was great. I was good with that. I don't know how long I wanted to be under there, but it was really fun. We got to feed the fish. They took some pictures and some videos on some waterproof camera. It was definitely not an iPhone, so the quality looks different, that's why. And then they upsold me and got me to purchase this, which I did not like this at all. I kept falling. Our next stop was Keke, I think it's pronounced. Our driver recommended that we go here to see one of the traditional dances and storylines that they do live. Also, be aware, there are so many monkeys running around grabbing people's stuff. Oh, the <laughs> 
The next day we woke up, chilled, ate, got a massage, and prepared to go to the airport. The airport is really pretty. Um, I definitely recommend getting there early. The lines are ridiculously long. Like, to just check in is like an hour. <laughs> 